first one that came to mind right away was it's God's heart. It's all about who God is. From the very beginning, all through scripture, you, you see him mentioning the nations and that he wants all the nations to be praising him. Not only that, Jesus commanded us to do it. Pray the Lord of the harvest. And it's a command from Jesus that, that I should obey. When I was in Haiti, um, I was working with a Haitian ladies group and I wanted to introduce them to the world. And so I chose Mongolia. And at that time, no known believers, no churches, nothing. And I took that to the Haitian ladies at our meeting and I said, imagine this and we need to pray for this country. And I showed them where it was on our map. They could not believe that there was a place like this. And even the following week when we met, they said, have you heard any news? How has God answered? Because we've been praying. We're participating with God and it's exciting to do that. And it was thrilling for me to see them doing that and to know that because of our prayers, there are people from Mongolia in heaven or will be if not yet. Recently we were in um, First and Second Thessalonians and it talked about those who didn't believe were eternally separated from the presence of the Lord. I don't want that for any of the people around me in Senegal. I don't want it for any of my family members. I don't want that for people and so that motivates me. I didn't become a believer on my own. Someone prayed for me. Someone prayed me into the kingdom. Someone prayed me into a relationship with God. So that motivates me too to say, I want to pray someone else into the kingdom. You know, if we don't pray for the nations or know anything about the nations, we are stuck in our little corner and, and we don't get to see what God is doing and how marvelous he is and how he's at work and how he's doing things that we can't even imagine.